The Oilers' defeat at the hands of the Chicago Blackhawks is not the only loss Edmonton fans are feeling this weekend. After almost a full day of the 50-50 website crashing, preventing many from purchasing raffle tickets on Friday, customers were faced with another problem. It just should have been an omen, really. It just said, you know, it's probably not your day. So you probably, sh I probably should have given up a long time before that. Several people, like Christy Yaruski, tried to buy tickets later on Friday once the 50-50 site was said to be up and working again. But she ran into another issue. When she submitted her credit card information, it would show this screen or say the service was not available. Yaruski gave up and just accepted she would not get in on the more than $15 million pot. I heard from a few friends, check your emails because some of theirs actually did go through and didn't know it. And then I went in to go check and I, yeah, eight times I had purchases gone through and threw on my credit cards. Yuruski was shocked when she discovered she was charged $800. And she's not the only one. Many people took to social media, saying they were also charged multiple times after trying to submit payments they thought had been cancelled or did not go through. The organization says they are aware of the issues with transactions, including the duplication of some orders. They say it was caused by a high volume of people trying to use the site at once. Because of this, the 50-50 draw has been put on hold until all concerns have been addressed. Yaruski says she only meant to buy $50 worth of tickets and was charged well beyond that. I would think that they should essentially just cancel the whole draw and refund everybody's money for every ticket they bought. Not being sure if she'll get her $800 back and dealing with the Oilers being out of the playoffs has been a lot to deal with. Added insult to injury, you know, it's would have maybe felt a little bit better about it had they won, but yeah, it was a pretty bad day all around. From Edmonton, Sherolta Saskew, City News.